Hey, what is going on guys? I'm CK and welcome back to Everything Overwatch League and we just finished stage two day one and it was absolutely ridiculous seriously stage two is so much better than stage one in every single way like stage one wasn't bad at all i loved it but stage two is just so good everything is better it's unbelievable so many new changes new things and one of those things is actually the whole viewing experience on twitch take a look at this video everything's so exciting Alright, so as you saw guys, Twitch has completely upgraded the whole viewing experience and it's actually so, so good. You don't see it anywhere else on Twitch, the things that they introduced. So you can now get in-game Overwatch League tokens by watching on Twitch. You just have to link your Battle.net account with your Twitch account. You can also earn other rewards such as specific emotes for the Overwatch League teams, the Overwatch heroes and specific cheer emotes. And there's leaderboards for how much you cheer, for how much your team gets cheered and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and new in-game Overwatch League skins, which are just absolutely unbelievable. This is just so good. I almost feel like, what did we do to deserve such wonderful stuff? I, I just can't get around, I get my head around how great all of this is. And it doesn't stop here, because they actually said that coming soon, get ready for your VIP pass to the best of the Overwatch League. You'll be able to unlock even more in-game items, behind the scenes video content and on Twitch, and tons of other perks which we'll reveal soon. So that is also coming soon to look forward to. If you're also as excited as I am for all of this stuff, drop a like on this video. Let's see how many we can get because this is absolutely unbelievable. I, I'm so happy. Wow. But unfortunately, guys, we can't talk about all of the great stuff Twitch is adding to the viewer experience forever because we have matches to talk about. We saw three matches of Stage 2 today. New players, new maps, new meta, and it was absolutely sick. It all feels so good, so let's dive into it. And first up, we have the Soul Dynasty against the LA Valiant. And let's just quickly talk about the meta that we saw today in general, because we saw almost no Mercy. We saw a, a little bit, but nowhere near as much as we used to. And Lucio was by far the most picked healer today. And then Zen, we saw mostly Lucio Zen, but also a lot of Sombra, actually. We saw a lot more Ana back in the mix, a little bit of Moira. And this meta just feels so much better in general. So many different new strategies yet to be discovered. And... I'm sure the teams will continue to adapt and wow, it, it's just so exciting. The new maps are great as well. We saw all of them today, Volskaya, Hollywood, Kings Row, Hanamura, all of the new maps, Nepal, just it's, it's great to see all of this. So the Dynasty versus the Valiant. Well, if you remember back to stage one, week five, LA Valiant actually beat the Dynasty pretty convincingly to keep their playoff hopes alive. And, um, Today, it was a completely different story. The Dynasty kind of dominated this game, actually. And it's not that the LA Valiant played terribly. The Seoul Dynasty just looked back to their best, really. And they went with a pretty uh, typical team roster for them. Miro was playing all day. And I thought towards the end of Stage 1, he was kind of dropping off a little bit as Seoul started to get worse. But... He was back to his best today. He was actually playing really well. All of their team was. Their synergy was really great. It was the same roster we saw all day. Bunny and Fleta as the DPS. Jay Hong and Toby. And then, of course, Zumba. And this worked really, really well for Seoul. And actually, Jay Hong said in an interview after the match that in the break, they didn't so much work on their playing, that, but they just went and did team exercises in real life together and bonded. And it really looks like it's paying off for them. Now, this was a pretty harsh scoreline for the Valiant. They, it was a 4-0 in the end. Um, and I don't think it's huge problems for them. I I think they didn't play well today, but it was just because Seoul were just playing so well. 
their teamwork looked pretty off. Um, and I think a reason for that is because Verbo was back in the lineup. Obviously, Lucio's back in the meta. So we're going to see a lot more of Verbo, but they weren't used to playing with Verbo. So they, they didn't have as much practice with him in the team. And therefore, their synergy isn't as good because they used to play with Kareev more. So... As it goes on, we'll see Verbo and the team start to get better as their synergy gets better. And I don't think it's huge problems for the Valiant. I think they're going to still be a kind of top six team eventually in stage two. So another player for Seoul who was back to their best today was Bunny. And he was the player of the match. He was playing probably the best he's played in a long time because he had some trouble in stage one. Um, he wasn't as good at playing with the team as Munchkin was. He'd go in the back and obviously he's a fantastically mechanically skilled tracer, but he'd just go in the back and go on his own and get a lot of picks, but he'd die a lot. And we saw him play a lot better today. He was playing more with the team, but just still the great style of Tracer that he brings uniquely to the table. And this worked really well for him and for Sol. So great to see Bunny playing well again. However, it was Agilities with play of the series today who had a nice Dragon Blade to halt Sol's progress on King's Row. Trying to get to Zumba, he gets there, he gets the heals just in time. Fate diving deep with that primal rage, and here comes Agilities. He's got the Dragon Blade out, he's turning it around. Toby down there goes Fleta, and finally, it looks like Valiant will get a bit of stability. So going forward in the week for these two teams, they play two opponents that they both should win. Um, the Seoul Dynasty up against the San Francisco Shock and then the LA Valiant, the last match of the week against the Shanghai Dragons. So they both should win that, but who knows what could happen. Um, and really, we don't know enough to know anything really this stage yet. Everything's different. It's anyone's game. And I do think Seoul are going to be one of the best teams. It just seems like they're back to their best. And I never thought that they would be out completely for the whole season or something. They're too good of a team to, for that to happen. So I think Seoul will be back for the Valiant. I'm not 100% sure, but this week at least both teams should get a win. By the way guys, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe because we're doing content every day after Overwatch League, recaps of how the matches went just like this and content in the off days as well. I'm doing my best to make content that you guys enjoy, so feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date. But we have another match to talk about, the Dallas Fuel against the Shanghai Dragons and this was absolutely amazing as well. It was just so good to see these teams and how they're going on the new meta. Now, unfortunately for the Dragons, this match was pretty one-sided, although they did sneak Hollywood in a map win, and that was actually a great map. If you haven't seen that, you can watch that. That went to overtime. It was pretty sick. But this was just a great series in general. Um, Dallas looked very strong, I thought. I think we're going to see a lot of different looks from this team in the future. Um, and for the Shanghai Dragons, obviously, their four new pickups aren't arriving until halfway through this stage, so... For the moment, they're stuck with with what they've got. But let's talk about the Dallas Fuel, because today, all day, Taimu played Winston, or the main tank role. We actually saw a bit of Reinhardt from him. But um, he played main tank all day, and they've still got XQC and Coco sitting on the sidelines who didn't play at all today. So um, it's all a bit confusing. They kind of had three main tank players on their team now, um, which is something in itself, but regardless, we saw AKM and Rascal, their two new players, both play today, and they both looked insane. AKM played very, very well on the Soldier. He was actually player of the match, which was so good. That's a really heartwarming story, and I thought he deserved it. Um, and then Rascal played the last map, Route 66, and played very well on Genji. And it's just great to see these boys back in the lineup. And if you're an XQC fan wondering where he is, I think we'll be seeing him soon. I think they were just trying something different out with the strategy today. Um, and it's no, it's no punishment or ban or anything. I think it was just purely strategic-wise. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but we'll see him soon. I think the future is looking very bright for Dallas Fuel, and if you're a fan of them, there's never been a better time to be alive, because they have so many different looks possible now, and with Rascal coming in, one of the best Genjis in the world, and can play a lot of other other heroes as well, we saw him play a bit of Sombra today, and AKM, um, a lot of people think he's the best soldier in the world, and 
this is just so good for them. Taimu's now on the main tank, but he can also play DPS. They can do anything, and once they get their communication up to par, like, they'll be one of the best teams in the league, I think, and that could even be this stage. Now, the play of the series today comes from Dia, and you have to see it to believe it, but I don't know if this was play of the series or not. I just thought it was really cool. Take a look. Yeah, they force a change. Shanghai, they are ready to go over with that Widowmaker. <laughs> it's, it's a Graviton surge there, throw it up. That's what I call getting creative. All right. Not something you see every day there from DR, but I love to see it. But what's in store for these guys for the rest of the week? Well, the Shanghai Dragons, like I said before, they've got a tough match against the LA Valiant in the last match of the week. And I don't think they're going to be getting their first win of the season that match. But I believe it's coming soon. I can't wait. I feel blood in the water. That's exciting. For the Dallas Fuel, they have a very, very big match against the LA Gladiators on the day three here. Um, and that's interesting because it's the two players who were from the London Spitfire now playing against each other on separate teams, Rascal and Fisher. And the LA Gladiators suddenly looked a lot stronger with Fisher today. So that's going to be a blockbuster match. It'll be really interesting and really telling whoever wins that one. Don't miss that. So speaking of the LA Gladiators, they played in the last match of the day today against the San Francisco Shock. And this was pretty dominant from LA. Um, they, they just look a lot better with Fisher in the lineup and Shock... Shock weren't particularly bad, but I think this is a really improved Gladiators lineup now. Now, let's talk about the team rosters we saw there today. So, for the San Francisco Shock, Sinatra and Supa can actually play soon, later this stage. But I did EQD. I thought we'd be seeing him at the start of this stage or soon. We didn't see any of him today. We might see him uh, next match or whatever, but I just thought in the break they'd have time to incorporate him into their roster and practice with him more. But no him today, just their regular six. For the LA Gladiators, no remix today. Um, Fissure was playing all day and then obviously just their three DPS players swapping out as normal and you might be thinking well what's the future from Remix because he might not get played much at all but he's still going to be helping around a lot at the Gladiators going to be maybe coaching a lot like a lot of the players that the Outlaws do who don't play that much um, and he and Fisher can learn off each other so he'll still be enjoying life I guess and still be being used and hopefully we get to see him play some still as well. Now the player of the series today was Shaw4 and he loved the extra space that Fisher provided him today. Really really good, allowed him to be the DPS player that we always knew he could be and I'm so excited to see more of what he, Hydration and Asha can do with the newly included Fisher and all the space that that provides. And this is really looking good for the Gladiators, Shaw4 had a fantastic match today. And play of the series came from Hydration, who also had a great set today. This was a huge Dragon Blade to save the Gladiators on Nepal. Use the nut fight mode. <laughs> There's that. Oh, Nomi gets the uh, kill on the Fissure here as Hydration getting a couple with the Dragon Blade. That's a big one. Only Nevix left on that Roadhog trying to stay alive. So next for these teams, Shock play the Dynasty like I said before and the Gladiators play the Fuel which is going to be an absolute blockbuster. Don't miss that one, that's got huge implications for both of those teams. For the Shock Dynasty, I think that's going to be a tough match for the Shock. Although they did manage to take a map off the Dynasty last time they played them in Stage 1. Well guys, that is going to do it for today's video. A hugely successful first day of Stage 2. As a simple viewer, a fan of the league, today I enjoyed everything so much more than Stage 1. And like I said before, not that Stage 1 was bad, but this is just so much more polished. Everything feels better, and the new Twitch things are really exciting. The new maps, meta, players, it's all just so great. Great time to be an Overwatch League fan. So if you guys are new, feel free to subscribe for more Overwatch League content. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at everythingowl underscore and join my Discord. It's a great community. Links to all of those things are in the description. But I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying life, spending time with people that you love. And most of all, I hope that you get to watch all of the Overwatch League matches for this week because it's super exciting. 
Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for another recap video. So until next time, peace.